What's up, everybody? It's Meech. You're tuned into On The Radar, where we cover health, fitness, and tech. Currently on the radar is the Dell XPS 15 7590. That's the newest model that they've put out. Salute to everybody that has watched the unboxing video. Salute to everybody that understood the unboxing video. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people are killing me over it, but it's an unboxing. It's not a review. Unboxings are usually boring. So that was my whole thing to spice it up a little bit, have a little bit of fun. Don't be so uptight. You want the information. It's not what that was for. It's an unboxing. This is where I'm going to give you the specs and my first impressions of the computer. As I said before in the unboxing video, you have to use a laptop or a computer for a good amount of time, for a few months at least, to really get the feel of it. So this is, again, my initial impressions, but you know, just off the bat, I do see some things that I can talk to you about. So I wanna get into the specs real quick because I don't want this video to be super long. It comes with an Intel Core i9 processor, 15.6 4K UHD Infinity Edge anti-reflective touchscreen. For those that don't know, or you, I'm sure actually most of you guys do know, it also comes in an OLED version and um, a different screen version, but most people are jumping on the OLED version, but the OLED version does not have touchscreen. Me, because I do a lot of video editing, I need the touchscreen. I'm used to having a touchscreen on my laptop, so I needed the touchscreen. The screen has an IPS 100 Adobe, RGB 100, 500 nits display. It has one terabyte SSD hard drive. If you don't know, SSD hard drives are better than your typical hard drives because they have no moving parts. We'll probably get into that later. Uh, it does have 32 gigabytes RAM. Now that what, to me was something, when I was seeing this video, this, this laptop spoken about and previewed before it actually came out, it, it kept saying that it was gonna be 64 gigs. That was a big deal. I need all the RAM I can possibly get because I do video editing. I, let, I run a lot of other big programs. And when it came out, it only is allowing you to get 32 um, gigabytes out of the box. Um, I'm hoping I can upgrade. I'll see if I can upgrade and I'll keep you guys posted. But for now, just as far as you know, ordering, that's all you can get. I was a little bit disappointed, but so far it's working out pretty good. We'll get back to that. It has an NVIDIA gra GeForce graphics card, 1650, four gigabytes, killer Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, 130 watt power adapter. It has the webcam and the webcam has been moved. The old versions, the webcam was down here. It was like basically, you know, it's on a low angle, so it's shooting up your nose. A lot of people had issues with that. Now they moved it up here. You have this thin bezel up here, but you, they, had, they found room for the webcam. I tried the webcam once. It is pretty good. Um, it's not the greatest, but webcams, I don't, I don't personally use webcams, so I'm really not an expert on that. I tried it. It looks pretty good considering um, you definitely need good lighting, but you know, it's good to know that it's there if I need it. But most people, a lot of people use the webcam. It's a big deal. So a lot of people are happy that it's in a better spot, and it, which it makes sense. For your ports, you get one SD card reader, two USB 3.1 slots, a Thunderbolt Type-C slot, a HDMI, and one headphone jack. The keyboard is backlit. As I said, it has a thin bezel. And the, the laptop is lightweight. It's only four, four and a half pounds. That's definitely good for somebody like me because I travel with my laptop almost daily. I'm transporting it. So that's important that it's not too heavy. So. Now, as far as my personal opinions on this laptop, like I said, I use this video, this laptop for editing. Um, so that was my main thing. The, the important thing to me is my the, the speed. How fast is it gonna start up? How fast are my programs gonna start up? How fast are my programs going to run? Is it going to run with multiple programs? So what I've noticed is it's definitely fast. It's definitely fast. My, my program start up, I use Photoshop, I use Vegas for editing, I different other little programs that I use and different plugins and stuff. Everything starts up fast. Everything runs really good. I'm not a gamer, but from what I hear, this, this computer is good for games and gaming, but it is not a gaming laptop. So that is important to know. It has the, 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 the this capability to run games pretty efficiently, but it's not a gaming laptop overall. So if you're looking for this, you know, just understand that. It will get the job done for somebody like me if I was just playing games on the side, doing stuff. But if you're a hardcore gamer, it probably won't be the laptop for you. Now, again, I told you guys it's, it's not the OLED version because I need the touchscreen. 
I am impressed with the, the, the quality of the screen. It's very nice and very bright. And I'm impressed with the color and the, and the clarity overall. Now, back to my talking about the, the what I use this computer for. As I said, it opens up my programs fast. There's no lag when I'm using my programs. Now, coming from my old computer, I was using a um, HP computer. It only had eight gigabytes of RAM. At the time when I bought the computer, I didn't understand, you know, I thought it was just about the, the memory card. It only had eight gigabytes of RAM. So if I'm rendering a project on, on, on my editing software, on my old computer, it would take me, let's say if I had a, a 15 minute video, that 15 minute video to render might take me two and a half hours, sometimes three and a half hours to render versus the difference with this Dell, that render speed for that same 15 minute video is now about 20 minutes. Huge difference. <laughs> now, most of my videos are not that long. So if I'm doing a five minute video, it's gonna definitely be, you know, real, real quick. It's probably gonna be five or 10 minutes. But most of the stuff is definitely, the, the speeds are hugely, hugely different. A lot of people complain about the throttling because they're using it for gaming, they're using it for different things like that. As far as I've tested, like I said, I'm not a gamer, so I can't speak about that. But what I did do is I ran my um, editing software, I ran Netflix, and I ran a 4K video on YouTube at the same time. I didn't have any issues. After a while, you started to hear the fan going, but it wasn't real bad. I've had laptops where it's, it's the, the fan noise is unbearable. So if you ask me, not being an expert, if you ask me, not being an expert, that's great, especially coming from my other computers. It's, it's a huge difference. My other computers, and this is why it's important to understand the RAM, understand if, if you're a video editor, if you are, as I, I told you guys, if you're, if you're rendering a project, it's going to take a lot longer if you don't have the proper capabilities in your computer. But at the same time, you can't do anything else on your computer when you're rendering. So it uses up so much GPU. If you have a weaker computer, you can't go online, you can't run Photoshop, you can't do anything else when that video is rendering. So that makes it even worse. If you have a two and a half hour render time, your computer is rendered is basically useless to you during that time. You can't get other things done. So obviously it's just gonna take up you know, a ridiculous amount of time. This computer allows you to be able to multitask because as my project is rendering, like I said, I can watch YouTube, I can run my other programs, get other things done, I can run Photoshop, so that, is a big, big deal. This is what you're paying for with this computer. You're paying for the extra muscle. You're paying to be able to get stuff done. So if you are a, 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 a editor, if you're a video creator, these are the things you need to know if you don't know. These are the reasons why you need a more upgraded computer that can handle all those different tasks. So understand that. Some of the things, other, some of the other pros is that the screen is very, very bright. As I, as I said, it has a 500 nit display. Um, the computer is very fast. Like I said, the battery life is decent. It's not great. It could be greater. Um, maybe it's because I'm always running so many programs. Maybe if you're using just regular things online, you're just surfing the web and things like that, I'm sure it would last longer. But for me, I still get a few hours battery life out of that, which for me, it, it, it's not a problem. But I do see where it could be better. But again, that's also relative to what you're doing on the computer. Some of the issues that I do find so far is it, it, it's the, the chassis is carbon fiber. It looks nice, but it's real, really, really susceptible to, to fingerprints and stuff like that. And I find it a little bit difficult to wipe it off. So it's just, if you're concerned about the look, you know, it's gonna drive you crazy because it, it just it attracts fingerprints really, really easy. Um, but you know, that's not the biggest deal in the world. I do have an issue with the RAM. I wanna be able to upgrade the RAM, but for now it's doing exactly what I needed to do. So it is not a big issue. There's some heat from the throttling on the left side. It's not that bad, honestly. I've had way worse in laptops. I've had YouTube running at 4K, my um, Vegas rendering, I've had Netflix running, and my um, Photoshop all up at the same time. You get a little bit of fan noise, nothing overpowering. I've also had way worse in computers. And the heat, you know, it's, it's not that bad. Considering all those things are running, all that power, it's not serious at all. And like, you can always get yourself a laptop fan if, if it's really a problem for you. But it's not something where you're gonna be burning your hand by, by pressing the keypad, because I've had those issues in the past. It's not that bad. And that's pretty much it. I don't have any real cons with this. This, this is an incredible laptop. So again, this is my initial impressions. If you didn't like the unboxing, 
<laughs> you just got to understand what it is. And anything else I might have missed, hit me up in the comment section. I'll definitely, um, you know, we can talk about it. I'll definitely fill you in if there's anything I missed, anything that you might want to know. Anything else, wait for, you know, I'll do the, the further review down the line. But that's pretty much it. This thing is a beast. I definitely recommend it. It is, it's been the top in its standard for a while, and I think it's going to stay that way. So that's pretty much it. Till next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support. Definitely hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time something else pops up on the radar. Salute.